Hey everybody, this is Eric with Phone Scoop. Today we're going to take a really super quick look at Android 2.2 Froyo running on a Google Nexus 1. Uh, Froyo offers just, you know, very modest updates compared to Android 2.1 Eclair. Uh, the first of which you can see right here on the home screen. Uh, on Android 2.1, uh, the uh, device used to have just this little square here for accessing the main menu. Now there's also a phone and browser button. So if we push this button, obviously the phone is going to launch. And if we push this one, obviously the browser is going to launch. We were uh, running a game just a few minutes ago in the browser. So we'll go home. So th that's one change on the home screen that's visible here. And of course, just pressing that does take you into the same 3D cube style home, uh, home menu that was available on Android 2.1. One of the other big things we'll notice, we'll jump into settings and go to wireless networks, uh, tethering and portable hotspot. So we uh, open these, we can simply turn on USB tethering and turn on the uh, hotspot. We'll uh, do that and it uh, takes a couple of seconds to kind of configure itself. And um, this is, uh, is using T-Mobile's 3G, uh, 3G network and has now created a hotspot. So uh, in order to prove that, we will uh, turn on my iPhone and I will... Uh, turn on the Wi-Fi networks and uh, we will um, see what we have here and look we have Android AP so we will join Android AP and up here we should see that this is connected to, uh, to 3G or to, uh, to the Android access point um, looks like it's uh, not quite connecting but anyway, uh, you can see, oh, there it is. Now we're connected. So uh, hotspot tethering baked into Android 2.2. That's a really neat feature. And of course, also USB tethering. Now, um, just because these features are here doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be available on all Android 2.2 devices. I have a, a suspicious feeling that wireless network operators might not be happy about this portable Wi-Fi hotspot application. And uh, we'll turn that off. Uh, other than those two changes, uh, we haven't been able to find too many uh, too many new items inside um, Android 2.2. Uh, perhaps the most noticeable is these two buttons here. You'll notice how easy it is to scroll from email to email um, when uh, you have these buttons rather than uh, some of the buttons that were previously supplied um, in uh, in different versions of the Gmail application on Android 2.1. So. Anyway, that's a really quick spin through a couple of the first features we were able to find on Android 2.2 Froyo.